Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++, Part 49. Uh, so we're going to be working on Challenge 2. So fill in the blanks to find out whether the value of A is an odd number or an even number. Okay, so we're going to do if A divisible the modulus. If this doesn't give us a remainder, we know it's even. Otherwise, let's print to the console output stream. The number is odd. So declare two integer, value, integer variables A and B. Print the product of the multiplication of A and B values to the screen using two pointers pointing to A and B. So here we'll have um, integer point A um, is equal to this address, and then we'll have integer point B is equal to this address. Now let's go ahead and print out. Um, what do we want to print out? We want to print out, uh, I guess, this these two addresses, unless I did it wrong. All right, I guess I did. We want to integer and and then this is going to be equal to b. And let's go ahead and print out a pointer, b pointer, and let's make sure. Okay, I guess I'm being dumb. Let's see. Pointer a is equal to pointer a, pointer a. I thought that's what I had, huh? Okay. To declare a double array named dar, okay. So we'll say double dar, um, and print the size of the array to the screen. So we'll say for uh, int x equals zero and dar of x. Let's go ahead and print size of dar. Awesome. So rearrange the code to declare a function taking two integers and one character parameter. If character's value is plus, return the sum of the integer arguments. Otherwise, return the product. So let's make our function up here. And uh, so we're going to say if it's equal to plus, let's go ahead and return that. Otherwise, let's return A times B. Awesome. Fill in the blanks to declare two pointers, each pointing to the same var variable. Change the variable's value uh, via pointers. So here we'll say, uh, let's see, each pointing to the same. Looks like, yeah, this will be int. So int pointer 2. And... Uh, in pointer 2 is going to be equal to 12. Let me think real quick. I think this should be, let's see. Let me try this out real quick. No, let me look up and see what they have. I'm kind of curious. So, yeah, they had int right there. Okay, I had int and then I just needed the star. All right, so i got to go back and review that. Um, so rearrange the code to define a function that calculates the following expression and prints the values to the screen. A times B uh, plus C. So let's do void up at the top. And here we'll get this result. Okay. Uh, Calculates the function expression, prints the values to the screen. Result plus equals C. All right. And then let's go ahead and print it out. And that should do it. Uh, fill in the blanks to calculate and return the multiplication product of the array elements. Okay. So here's an int foo, int multiple is going to be equal to. Uh, multiplication products, I guess this will be equal to malt times equal, and let's go ahead and return malt, and then this will be initially equal to, uh, what will this be? I guess this can be equal to, um, I don't know what we want to make this equal to. Let me do a hint real quick. One, okay, yeah, so we can start it at one. And the rest of that should work. Okay, cool. So fill in the blanks to declare a function returning the greatest number of its three arguments. So we'll say if a is greater than b and a is greater than or equal to c, return a, else if b is greater than, return b, else return c. Nice. Uh, Rearrange the code to declare my class with food member function, which, cal which calculates and prints to the screen a minus b divided by b expression value. Okay, so here we have class my class, and then inside of here we have this. Uh, public void foo, and it's going to output that. All right. Uh, so finally, fill in the blanks to declare a function printing the value of the following expression, a times b minus b times 4. So here we have int a times b, and it's going to be result, which is going to be uh, result. Uh, it's going to be equal to minus equal, and then let's go ahead and print result. Make sure I got that right. Okay, cool. And finally, uh, rearrange the code to find and print the smallest element in the array. So we want the minimum. And so here we can we can um, declare a for loop. 
and we can say int small is going to be equal to array of zero and then actually let's see probably want this before a for loop and otherwise uh, count small let me make sure all right cool all right guys so that was it for again part 49 here on solarlearn.com next up we'll be, we'll be moving into more on classes inheritance and polymorphism templates ex exceptions and files challenges and finally we will uh, get our certificate so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment please subscribe and support the channel it means a lot so thanks for watching guys and have a great day take care